All right, so we've seen the principle of Kafka Connect, a bit of theory. Now we're going to get more details around what it is. But let's start at a high level, just to summarize. We get source connectors to get data from the common data sources, and we have sync connectors to publish data to these common data sources, and we've seen a list before. It makes really easy for non-experienced devs, just like us, to quickly get their data reliably into Kafka and out of Kafka. It's definitely part of your ETL pipeline. Kafka Connect is a very strong component of your ETL pipeline, especially the real-time one. And scaling makes so easy uh, to company-wide pipeline because Kafka Connect scales really, really well in distributed mode. And the code finally is reusable. So the only thing that changes from your connector to someone else's connector will be the configuration. That makes it really great. So now, Pay attention, we're going to talk about concepts for Kafka Connect. So Kafka Connect cluster has multiple loaded connectors. So each connector is a reusable piece of code. It's basically a Java jar. So when you compile your code and package it in Java, you create jar files. So a connector is one of these classes in Java, and you've packaged it, and you created a jar. You have many connectors in the open source world, so leverage them. You should Google and say, oh, I want to take data from Ka from Postgres to Kafka. OK, Google uh, Kafka Connect, Postgres, Kafka, and you'll see. Now, when you have these connectors, OK, these jars, and you add your own user configuration, this gives you tasks, OK? So a task is definitely linked to a connector configuration. And a job configuration may create multiple tasks. So say you take one connector and you add one configuration, you may end up with two or three tasks. Finally, these tasks, they're executed by the Kafka Connect workers and servers. And if you remember in one of their old slide, there was a Kafka Connect cluster with three workers. So the workers will take the tasks and ex execute them. A worker is a single Java process it's that you run on a server. And usually you can have it standalone or in a cluster. We will take a look at both. But we recommend that you use workers in a cluster, most of all. So that's it for the very important concept. Just remember their connectors. And when you add a user configuration, you get tasks. And all these tasks are executed by the Kafka Connect workers.